If you're not ready for fall, don't worry. I've got all the answers that you need just to have these five things ready for fall. And today is the first day of fall, so if you haven't been able to get yours done, don't worry about it because I've got what you need. So when you walk up to my house, this is what you see. And it took only 30 minutes, <laughs> plus a teeny bit of preparation. So come along, see how I did it and how I kept it so simple. What I have in mind, and I'll show you. Look, see, I've got little sweet Millie right here. She's just waiting to say hello. She's playing with her little toy. She's starting to get to where she scoots a little bit, but I like to keep her close to me. And she's got nothing she'd rather do. Look at that, she's already just flipping over. She's not gonna be able to find her toys now. But right here I have all these fall decorations that I wanna be able to use. Um, that wreath I've had for years and I kind of wanted to go with just a muted fall look this year and I picked up that sign and a couple things at Walmart I'll give more details on those but that's kind of the color scheme I'm going I'm taking out the shiny and we'll just see how it looks I can't wait what I mean when I say to clear your porch I mean take the greenery off the furniture off and even last season's decorations if you haven't done that yet just clear it work with a clean slate it's so much better okay so it's fall and I've got all this set out here and we're going to see what we can do in a quick amount of time I do not want to spend a great amount of time on this porch. second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give your porch a really good sweeping I mean cobwebs any kind of dirt, debris, rocks, whatever's there, you just wanna be able to give it a good sweep. It just looks better, it feels better, it feels fresh. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and wipe down your door, the jam. You know, just, just give it that fresh look. And if you have a wreath from last year, use it. If you wanna buy a new one, use it. I find wreaths at Ross all the time. That's where this one came from. But you can easily pick one up at Walmart as well. Just make sure it looks good and it just freshens everything up. And then you're gonna go ahead and place your furniture back in and then you know give everything a good wipe down if it needs to, because you know it collects dust. If it needs dusting, just wipe it down. Anything you can do to just make everything feel better because you're not just carrying last season's debris on it. You know what I mean? So you'll just freshen things up, kind of shake your greenery out, uh, just get things cleaned up and, and put it back. And I, I would even go for so far as to say, kind of change it up and the way that you had it set up before, don't set it up that same way. It, it's really good just to kind of throw people when they get to your porch and be like, oh, it looks new and fresh. Is that new? Even if you've had it for months, just because you put it in a different place, it might take on a new look. And that's really important. So let me tell you exactly what I did. Those sprays I'm putting underneath that lantern I picked up at Walmart, they're about $3 a stem. And that lantern is actually what inspired the color scheme I have this year. Just really wanted the fall kind of orange, yellow, red look. And that fall look will last me clear till November. I'll use it for September, October, and November. And that's how I like to do things is by the season. I, I leave it up the whole uh, three months of that season and uh, i bought those sprays of flowers they were just they probably had about six stems on them so each of those were three bucks and that was really great the fall leaves that you just saw there i've had those since last season some that that spray of flowers i had since last season and that lantern right there i used to have in a bathroom at my last house and um I use it more for decorating around the yard now. So it's kind of fun mixing the old things I had and the new things I had as well. But all in all, it's just a good, fresh look and it just is really exciting for this year. I think that's perfect right there. Not too much. That might be a little much right there. I'll work on that and then I love that and I love that. And I'll probably have to hang up something there. So I think other than that, we're good. We need a mat and I'll see if I can find anything and then I'll get back to you on that. You shake out your old rug or you add a new mat, doesn't really matter as long as it's welcoming. So even if I do anything else, that is perfect. Look at that mat. I just got that over at Costco for 10 bucks. It's a heavy duty, durable one. So great for walking in. That area is complete. That area is complete. Even if I don't hang anything up on either side, that's still plenty good for me. And then there's that. So I would like to put just a little welcome sign right here, but I don't have to, it's totally fine if I don't. And it just is so bright and cheery, it just makes me happy. So don't sweat it. 
So I hope that was helpful for you and I hope that you were able to enjoy this and that you're more encouraged to be able to get your fall decorating done. I really think that it's important just to have those seasons change for your kids. It helps them understand time. It helps them understand what to be excited about. It gives them a, a fresh new aspect to look at life on and then they can look for the leaves and the other things that are changing and then it helps them be more comfortable with the changes that take place in ourselves because isn't that the greatest thing is that Seasons change four times a year, and it's okay if we make adjustments and change as well. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little video for you busy mamas who are trying to get ready for fall real quick, but you don't need to do it to keep up with everybody else. Just do what works for you because that's really what matters. Give it a bright spot in your heart, and it will just cheer you up, I bet, every time you come home. And... You know, if you haven't liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have anybody that you think might enjoy it, share it with them. And I hope that you subscribe to our channel so that you could see more. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much. It's so beautiful this morning. I love being able to come outside and look here across the street at our park. It's so nice. I don't know if you can see that, but the lavender is blooming. So it's kind of great.